Stephen and Elaine. We have a passion for traveling and love learning as much as possible about different places, cultures, and people as we travel the world and live like locals. I guess if you're the queen for 70 years, you get your face on all the money. So that's uh -huh. the train to London. Piccadilly. And then you scan it in, when you go in, you scan it when you come out. And then okay. it charges you. Yep. Now this is a subway. It's all grimy. <laughs> yeah. Piccadilly line cop fossil. Are you going guys? Cop fossil? Yeah. And champagne. That sounds good. It looks a lot like Philadelphia with these row houses. So I wonder if this is where the idea of it came from.
visit the local line train via Addington and Baker Street. The next station is Westbourne Park. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. This is Westbourne Park. The next station is Royal Oak. Look at Palace up there. Perfect. Look at this. Alright, is this, this where we get breakfast? Yeah. Cappuccino Americano. Day at the Palace. Um, hey, this one? Sorry, it's closed. So okay. I'm really okay. sorry. That's the way Before we get to the palace, we toured the Queen's Gallery, which currently houses a Japanese exhibit which tells the story of over 300 years of artistic and cultural exchanges between the British and Japanese royal and imperial families. What Google calls a parking lot is actually the Royal Muse. Historically, it's where they kept the Royal Hawks during their molting or mew time. This area now houses the Royal Horses, Cars, and Carriages. Going to the Royal Muse here at Buckingham Palace. Okay, we're in the queue for our two o'clock appointment, but we can't have any phones for pictures or videos, so. We're gonna tuck them away so we don't get in trouble for a third time today. Yeah. Built as Buckingham House in 1703, this stunning structure caught the eye of King George III, who bought it for his wife, Queen Charlotte. Since then, the palace has undergone numerous additions and renovations. Today, Buckingham Palace houses hundreds of its staff and is more than 700 rooms sprawled over 39 acres.
we just finished our tour. It was lovely. Very ornate. Yeah, it was uh, huge though. There's so much to see it. Fortunately, we couldn't film. <laughs> it was gorgeous. You have to see it for yourself. It's like Queen Victoria really put her stamp on things. Mm -hmm. Well, they said that the meetings that they have with the state started with Queen Victoria. I think mm -hmm. she was the first one to go to the state and go, hey, that we can do this. Yeah. Nice. After our tour was finished, we decided to have tea at the Reuben, just across the street. Very good. And we're excited to try. We can't wait for our drinks on So we'll start with the sandwiches, so the closest to us, we have the cucumber sandwiches, which are served with the lemon creme fraiche. Next to those we have the roasted beef and sirloin sandwiches, which are served with a horseradish cream. We then have the smoked salmon and chai cream cheese sandwiches. And finally, in the brioche bun, we have lobster topped with caviar. I always save that one to last. <laughs> we then, at the bottom shelf, we have a selection of scones for you to enjoy. So we have a cheddar cheese scone, a fruit scone, a plain traditional scone, and a white chocolate and honey scone. I'll bring over some creams and jams for a moment. Finally, we have the to enjoy. Firstly, we have our brown. This is a chocolate orange brownie topped with a white chocolate and coconut mousse. We then have our chocolate tort. This is a chocolate sponge with a chocolate ganache and a pear jelly. Next to that we have our lemon meringue pie. This is a lemon curd meringue jelly tart topped with a crispy meringue garnish and a fresh raspberry. And finally we have the cherry on top of the afternoon tea. We have a set vanilla cream with a cherry glaze and a dark chocolate brown. I'll be back in one moment with some uh, creams and jams. I hope you enjoy your food. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.